ahead of y'all. Hey, it's going to be that time of year. Rabbit season is just around the corner in Colorado here. It begins uh, October the 1st. But uh, as you may be aware, if you take an ATV out into the National Forest or onto BLM land, you've got to have your firearm totally encased. So anyway, if you want to see uh, how I put my gun case onto this uh, motorcycle, stick around and I'll show you the install. First point of contact uh, with the gun case, and it's got a little heel that it's going to sit on that uh, passenger foot peg, but uh, the little slot is a little bit narrow for this hanger strap, so I'm going to have to grind it down a little bit here. That fits in there pretty good. And, uh, bend it so that it comes back a little bit because it didn't line up perfectly right but uh, that's looking pretty good anyway this hanger strap let's see is one two three four five six holes sticking out and three holes coming back this way and it's at just a little bit of a bend now we'll get that baby bolted on with uh let's see I got a one inch by three eighths inch. I'm going to put a washer on the front side because this, this thing here would uh, be a little too wide for the bolt. We'll go ahead and put the hanger strap on and then a lock washer and then uh, the nut on the back. That one inch keeps it from, you know, sticking way out and getting anywhere near that tire. And then you're going to have to, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to snug it just a little bit, but I want to be able to uh, adjust it to kind of make sure that it's fitting the slot of the gun case there. I can still move it around a little bit. Not much, but a little. Let's see. Now the slot can line up on there and I really want it down where it's that heel is resting on that foot peg there. Now the second point of contact is uh, a piece of uh, hanger strap. It's uh, 17 holes long. Let's see how many inches it is. Uh, right at about 13 to the bend. And then it's got two holes that are going to be pointed uh, down. And I'll show you how it receives that uh, about an inch and an oh, inch and a half, inch and a quarter, something like that, that's uh, pointed down there. I'll show you how that uh, hooks onto the bike. It actually is going to go up underneath this seat. I had to take one of these uh, bolts out. I think this is one inch by... Uh, I want to say six millimeter. It's got a 10 millimeter bolt head on it. But uh, anyway, this is going to slide under the box. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that, but got to line up that very first hole and then get this one inch bolt in there. And we're just going to lightly snug it down till we get it to line up. Now I've drilled another hole. It would kind of flop around like that. But in order to prevent that, I've got another hole here. That's a 5 16th by 1 inch bolt. And uh, let's see, I'm going to put a fender washer. So it can't pull through this softer plastic box. And then on the bottom, we'll have a lock washer. You can kind of see where that bolt comes through there. Uh, a washer, a lock washer, because I don't have the right size lock washer. That's why I'm having to put a washer on here. But uh, we'll get that to line up on here, hopefully. 
to get that bolt to come through there a little bit better. There we go. Now let's see if we can get this baby to thread up on there. And as you can see, it's got a little bend in it to help line up with the uh, the gun boot. Let me tighten this down. Let me get a wrench on the inside of this baby. Yeah, come on now. Let's see if that's the right way. Yeah. We'll tighten this down. I've test fitted it a time or two to make sure I can get a a good setting, but the very first uh, order of operations is to go ahead and slide this up on it, and then it kind of captures it like that. And then this lower one, get it adjusted so it slides on there. So now I've got two points, and... Uh, Let's see, I'll show you the third point, but uh, this is how I'm kind of keeping these first and second points from, I just put that in there. I could put a little lock in there if I wanted to uh, leave my bike with the gun on it for some reason. And then I've got another one here. I just put that clip on it. So Now the the third point of contact I wanted it to be uh, up on this box it'll help stabilize the box so I went ahead and uh, put these first two points of contact on there saw where it kind of lines up to the uh, gun case by the box and uh, let me show you get this gun case out of the way there's kind of a honeycomb situation up here it's kind of reinforced and uh, so I wanted to use that, but it causes a little well right here. Uh, so you have to be careful how you put your washers on. But uh, I'm going to use a wing nut. And uh, I had to drill a hole in the side of the gun case. And in my case, it lined up just between the L and the P there. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a permanent mount uh, bolt that can feed into that hole on the box let's see I'm going to use a this is a I believe it's an inch and a half 15 uh, 5 16 bolt and I'm going to put that through the hole from the inside let's see if I can find that. and uh, then to give it a little space you can't use small washers because they will go inside that honeycomb but uh, I'm going to use a couple of fender washers on here to give a little space so the the uh, gun case won't block the lid from coming down so it gives it just enough room and I'll use a uh, lock washer and then the nut on top of that and then I'll just tighten this down so it's kind of a permanent fixture now this gun case comes with a gun sock down here and that kind of will help protect the gun from rubbing up against that uh, the head of that bolt down inside there. I guess you could use maybe a uh, carriage bolt and cinch it up a little bit tighter. But you do want to get a, a uh, fender washer on there. Let's see. Uh, so that it doesn't... Let me go ahead and get this on and we'll fit it. Get that bolt to line up with that hole. And then we'll use another fender washer on the inside. And because I'm driving over ter rough terrain and bouncing around a good bit, I'm going to put a lock washer on there and then a wing nut, which makes this kind of a not totally quick release. But now you can see there's a, a little space between the gun case and the uh, lid. See how it fits. Just barely, but it does fit just, just snugly. So that's the third point connection there. Well, if you're looking to install a gun case on your motorcycle, I hope uh, this uh, video gives you some ideas. Uh, this particular uh, toolbox is made by Rigid. It comes through uh, Home Depot. I couldn't find it on Amazon, so 
had to go an hour and a half to find it at the Home Depot, but it's the 22 inch uh, wide one. And uh, this Culpin gun case, I did find it on Amazon. I want to say it was around $60. Uh, it is a uh, Culpin 6.0. I'll uh, leave a link uh, down below uh, so you can find it. But uh, the other stuff, the hardware, whatever you get it, you know, at Ace Hardware, at Home Depot, or whatever like that. But uh, anyway, I uh, hope it helps, and uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.